All right, all right, here we go. Just a, a little couple of things. Uh, I thought that the uh, Strange Happening stuff was slowing down and, uh, you know, not stopping, but slowing down uh, a little bit. Well, another coincidence thing just happened while ago. Uh, we watched a movie uh, on voodoo.com, uh, streaming service online, and it was free with ads called Absolution. It was apparently about an empath. There you go being able to take away the pain and hurt from other people and help them. I thought, well, okay, that's kind of interesting. That's what's going on in my life right now. That's interesting. And the big opponent in the movie was fear. And I'm like, well, okay. I have said that in several videos, that that is the one thing you do not let in is fear. Uh, fear can destroy you if you're not careful. And it's, it's such a minor thing. And it's that dangerous um, because you will lose yourself. Um, so I've mentioned stuff like that in my videos. I'm like, well, okay, I see where they're going with this. As far as I'm concerned, they've got it right on here in that taking in so much hurt and pain from others, it can kind of harm you. Uh, all these feelings from others can kind of hurt you a bit until you can get rid of it. It's like, I get that. One point she was curled up in the fetal position. I'm like, well, been there, done that. And what was it, video Strange Happening 56? After I talked about uh, feeling all the emotions from everyone else and it was overwhelming, and I had Carl up in the fiddle position a couple of times, and when she did that in the movie, I'm like, oh, uh, I get that. Oh yeah, I get that. Yeah, okay, I get that. So that was interesting. Also, there was a twin flame in the movie, uh, kind of a, a person who is a part of you, um, that you can't hardly understand, and it's just more than meant to be, um, that kind of thing. Um, also, learning that there's she's not alone for this actress and this empath, that there are others out there like her. Uh, toward the end, you learn this, and it's like, yeah, okay, wow. Another one of those strange coincidences, and there was that movie, and we just happened to click on it and watch it, and it was all about this kind of stuff. It's like, wow, how interesting is that? Okay, and the other thing, just throwing it out there, I mentioned in the past that my mom is a very good genealogist. Uh, I don't know if I mentioned it out there anyway, anywhere in the past in any one of my videos, but my family tree don't branch. It sounds terrible, it sounds horrible, but it's true. Even my mom and dad are fifth cousins. Our family tree does this all the way up uh, as far as mom's going back it does that kind of thing it's very odd i'm bringing it up now because i just found out my niece is uh dating someone she dated this person when she was a lot younger and then i redated him in college so she's dating him pretty heavy now in college and mom told me his name and it sounded familiar and she goes it should it's kind of one of your cousins the tree is doing this again <laughs> it's like yeah all right oh you just warped little family here i suppose <laughs> gee whiz okay just have to you know you just go with it um I, I don't know why that happens but it seems to happen in our family and has for a very 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 long time so it's just another odd little thing also uh I mentioned about birthdays, my wife and I's birthdays uh, here at the end of October kind of thing. Uh, our anniversary is May 1st, which is a pagan holiday belting. And I'm probably going to, I think I'll do it right now. I'm going to put a little clip here at the end of this about a Beltane festival we went to in 2005 on Calton Hill in Edinburgh, Scotland. And this is before cell phone cameras. Um, most of the lighting in here is all just flashlight, lights from the flash of a, a camera an actual camera or firelight by torchlight and stuff like that. Uh, so that's this. Uh, in the description, I'll put a link to the actual Beltane Fire um, Society, Fire Festival Society. They have a much longer video on YouTube, an hour and a half of this exact one in 2005. Uh, but warning, there is a um, age restriction on it because of nudity and that kind of thing. Mine is not. It's uh, mostly dark, but we attended that uh, and that was amazing. And I put together some clips right here. Uh, <laughs> 